there, there's an alleged story going out saying that Diddy was going to be sued by the cartel because he shortened up the uh, he the drug supply. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he did. All that too, see? Yo, what it do? It's your boy Buck Breeze. Mr. No Slackin' himself. No Slackin' involved. That shit is bad for your health. <laughs> what it do? It's your boy, man. You know the vibes, man. Can to tap in with y'all. So check this, man. Today we got a good one. So this right here, Jaguar White, right? You want to talk about that shit? You know, when Diddy got sued by the Mexican cartel, know what I mean? Over drugs and Jennifer Lopez, know what I mean? Latest divorce type shit and all that. Now, yeah, I remember I did the video on the Mexican cartel dude that's suing Diddy, right? So maybe we got a little more insight to it right here. You know what I mean? Let's tap in, man. Let's see what's really good. You know, time is money. We can't get a dollar back. Let's see what's good, man. If you, um, in, the, in recent, you know, as far as uh, what's going on in the internet world, Diddy is said. Let me ask you, um, in, the, in recent, you know, as far as uh, what's going on in the internet world, Diddy is said, again, it's all alleged. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I know. Yeah, someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all I, don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I believe someone has recently, and again, this has not happened yet, but uh, a, police reporter, a police report is now being filed mm-hmm. by one of the accusers of Diddy to say, let me at least put this on record with the police of what happened. Um, from your knowledge, like what happened? Because like Cassie, everyone else, there's no police. It's all civil suits. But the first criminal uh, situation that comes to play to where the police report will, the police will say we'll they take- still buy in time for all of the yeah, people are, who are they, they don't want to get exposed. Or- okay, go ahead. no, this is about covering. This is all about covering the people they want to protect. Mm. Mm. He's the acceptable monster. He's just one of the bigger ones. There's a lot of people that are gonna get hurt. Look at poor Jen and Ben. Poor Jen and Ben. And Jen is... She really thought she was going to make that story work. She was going to get her little white Irish Catholic boy, and she was going to be happily other after. And him and all of his white friends, and they were going to make... They was going to be the Rat Pack with a bitch. It was going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, so much for Susie Sausage Head. I guess she's figuring out that's really high. <laughs> Put in the comments, man. What y'all think about Jagger or White? You think like you know she be it be like <clears throat> some facts or stories? Some people think she crazy. You know what I mean? Some people think she bugged out that they don't slip there. Mickey, so now she just crazy. I don't think she crazy, man. I think there's some truth behind anything. Class. So let me ask you this. Uh, you know that's a- what she calls women. Oh, Su- Susie Sausage Head, oh. aka Dick Sucker. Whoa, what? That's what that's what Jennifer Lopez say. That's what she said about the women. She called them the Susie Sausage Head. Wow. You want to know what's funny? I bet that's the same thing his wife, his first wife, says about her. The white girl who his family likes. Yeah. Even Gwyneth Paltrow don't like her. There's a, there's a story. You know, they want her out of the Hamptons. What? No, no, no. They want J-Lo out of the Hamptons. Oh. She, she bringing too much of the block <laughs> to the porch. It, it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. No, what it is <laughs> is she is the perfect example of what happens when you don't want to be yourself. Mm. Damn. She can't sing, but they got her a microphone to let her pretend. And the perfect example of what happens when you don't want to be yourself. That's some real shit right there. But damn, that's that's crazy. I, I don't hear much about J-Lo no more. Y'all hear anything about J-Lo still? So let me she ask. was an okay actress, but, you know, she was good at acting. She'd been doing that all her life. Give her her little props on the acting movie. The movie when she's getting her ass beat and she came back and beat the dude ass and all that. It, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. You know, and, and, and she wanted the she wanted to be Barbie and she wanted to have Ken. But if you were to really take find the dolls that would really display their relationship best, 
You had to get one of those little dominatrix dials for her. Damn. And then you yeah. got to get the alcoholic one for him. Oh. And then every time you play with him, he, she cut and he gets to drink it. <laughs> he gets to drink it. Oh, shit. Like they. Yo, what the fuck? They should have toys that are real so kids don't have unrealistic expectations of where this grown up shit goes. I'm talking about. I think somebody should have definitely. I thought it was shade, but somebody should have told you I got away how to sit a little better as a lady. Like, cross your legs or something. Like, you all got your skirt all open, lady. What's going on here? A Batman in. Uh... Um, Batman and not a, cat. Put a towel over your lap or something, a shirt or something. Like, yeah. Woman. <laughs> He'd have been better off with Halle Berry if he wanted to get a little something with some color on it. He should have went with Halle Berry. Because at least she knows how to drive motherfuckers crazy in style. <laughs> J-Lo is just, I don't know. Every man she's been with has said the same thing, except for Diddy. Diddy's mm -hmm. the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wished he hadn't messed it up. Now, how's that? Yeah, Diddy was in love with J-Lo ass. The only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship, <laughs> but everybody else ran for the hills. <laughs> like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But Diddy said she was perfect. Well, maybe she was meant for the metal. What happens if you're only perfect for the devil? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the f*** does that make you? Uh you don't like uh, J Lo, huh? You can tell that. I guess that's something that's clear to see. There, there's an alleged story going out saying that Diddy was gonna be sued by the cartel because he shortened up the uh, he the drug supply. Yeah, I'm sure he did. All that too, see? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, she just said the shit. Yo, listen, I just did the video. Go check my last video. I just did a reaction on a new drug hitting the street. Called Tootsie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. How are he, they supposed to sneak he, the fentanyl in? He, he too much attention, bro. How they much? how they supposed to sneak the fentanyl in? <laughs> if they can't transport the Tootsie. Oh shit. Nah. See, y'all don't realize how much of a bomb she just dropped right here. She just dropped the crazy ass bomb, y'all. Like this is nuts right here. Look, matter of fact. Show y'all something real quick. Show y'all something real quick. Let me pull this shit up. Hold up. Pull the fuck up. Hold up, hold up. I got you. Hold up, hold up. Look, I need y'all to go check out my video I did. And this shit right here, y'all. Look, this is the shit she talking about. Check it out. Not let its color, which is somewhat fun, or appearance fool you. It is a mystery drug uh, that is hitting the club scene. And the ease of how it is pouring into the area may surprise and disgust you. Now, listen, this that's the drug, y'all, that they call a Tootsie. You know what I'm saying? This shit is fucking nuts that she just dropped the bomb like that. So how they gonna get the fat and all in? They ain't getting the Tootsie in. Yo. Oh my God, that's crazy. <clears throat> they were just saying how, you know, Tootsie got all these other drugs in it. It's supposed to be cocaine. And I was just saying, like, how's that shit cocaine? That don't really make no motherfucking sense. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit, this shit is nuts. This shit is nuts, y'all. All right, boom. So we're going we're gonna to get back to this one. Let's get back to the Jerry R. White shit. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. Go check out my last video that I did on that shit, all right? Just so y'all can really tap in and know it's really good. And this is gonna make a whole lot of sense to y'all. You know what? Hey, yo, shouts to homegirl too, man. I don't know if she want me to say her name up here like that. But shouts to my homegirl that sent me this. You know what I'm saying? She be tapped in. We was on the live and she was telling me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got something I sent. I'm gonna send you. You know what I mean? Check it out. You know what I mean? So this shit's wild how all this shit is coming together. Like, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of damn sense. This is nuts. Damn. If they can't transport the two C. Yeah, this is crazy because if they oh, bring it back a little bit, y'all, because y'all gotta really get this shit understand it. This shit is getting a little too deep. Right yeah, now. I'm sure he did. All that two C. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Gonna be sued by the cartel because he shortened up the uh he the drug supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he did. All that Tootsie. How are they supposed to sneak the fentanyl in? 
Mm. He, he too much attention, bro. How they how they supposed to sneak the fentanyl in? <laughs> Makes a lot of fucking sense, man. Think about it, right? Think about it when listen. I don't want to put too much shit out there like that, but you know what I mean. Just think about like when I'm saying they trying to move a certain drug. Can't move that certain drug the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So what you got to do is disguise it in different ways. So first off, you'll break it down, which you could throw some shit in there, some shit that you could easily. You know what I mean? Which is, you could still move the drug as what it is, even though it got that bullshit in it. You know what I'm saying? But what the bullshit does is disguise it high as something else. So, for example, make it pink. You know what I'm saying? First off, another example is throw some fetamine in it or something. You know what I'm saying? Or even different example is, <clears throat> they might even have a way to put the shit, mix it with fetamine and something else, or something else and something else, and then later they can extract it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this shit is crazy, man. If they can't transport the two C. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. This is crazy because he about to have a, a hell of a case on his ass. This is nuts. Like, they about to have a hell of a case on his ass, man. Like, this shit is turning into something else. And it's all starting to make sense. Like, this is crazy. You know, no, I'm sure he did fuck up the drug supply. Do you know how many victims woke up out of their sleep knowing, Jack, knowing that they was, you know, they not confused no more, wait, you know? Jaguar, do you really believe nah. <laughs> Do you know how many victims woke up out their sleep and they not confused anymore? Like, yo, what? <laughs> On the diddler, man. Was handling or using drugs. Of course. Seriously. Okay. Hold on, what'd he say? Do you really believe Diddy was handling or using drugs? Of course. Seriously. Oh. Okay. Um, Did you not hear the little white man we just spoke to and talking about using the ketamine? We heard. We heard and you got to do the ketamine. We heard a lot. We heard a lot. It's a horse tranquilizer. Right. I mean, you got ketamine. Did you hear what I said? It's a horse Diddy tranquilizer. said, you gotta use the horse tranquilizer if you want to get closer to the music. But you can't feel anything. Hold the fuck up. Really? Yo, man, tap in. Jump in the comments, man. This shit is getting real crazy, man. It's your boy, man. Fuck Breeze, man. Miss no slacking himself. No slacking involved. That shit is bad for your health, man. Tap in, man. Jump in the comments, man. Let me know what you think of this, man. This shit's starting to get real crazy. You wanna know what's funny? To be acknowledged by a psychic as being accurate and people still calling me a liar, but they'll believe her. Mm. You, you'll believe the psychic that got her information from the ether somewhere, but the person who was actually there is the liar. That's weird.